提出来了的时候，啊，点啊鞭打，会当去导致的吼，用用较大迄个鞭子的方式吼，甲一个大楼鞭起来拢我倒嘛，用跌啊。啊，当初其实伫台湾，伫外国敢那嘛较少，就讲伫台湾做跌啊安尼，几乎拢无人安尼做。啊，我去找啥物人，我袂晓鞭啊，我不会操作啊，吼、哦，我去找传统的工艺师，伊迄足够鞭跌啊。伊家讲无可能啦，伊底下要做很大吼，对伊来讲无可能。不过伊是足好个工艺师啊，就是咱个文化部给伊个一个台湾有认证个工个工工工艺师就对。伊做着编迄个篮啊啦，底下边啊编法啦，啥物拢会晓。可是伊家我记载，伊家讲安尼，安尼无，迄无可能，因为伫伊个超出伊个手个范围吼，诶，伊要做无多个。我刚才我就想讲，安尼无多个。我是唔讲，我等于山顶，找迄、那个。我第一代含我做伙出来做作品的是，伊两个两个老伙啊，已经过身去啊I suppose these days everybody's looking for a, a bigger connection with the earth and with landscape and also to use materials that come directly from the environment. So in terms of sustainability, anytime you use something from the ground rather than something that comes on a truck or is manufactured in a factory, it, it gives you an empowering feeling because um, you're not depending on anyone else. I started a research and development company called Cave Urban to look into sustainable systems, vernacular systems, passive systems that related to contemporary architecture. The first thing we decided to do when we were setting up the company was three research folios. Uh, and the first one was on bamboo and lightweight structures. So we looked at different practice all around the world, at different architects and artists and what they were doing. And when we found Wen Chi and his work, it was the most exciting artist that we found. There was a lot of strength and spirituality in his work and also very structural and engineered as well, so it was very attractive to us as architects. Because I received an email that you received from Nikki's email. It was very strange, why a architect wants to invite you to do this work? 后来才知道说，进一步的了解才知道说，他是研究竹材的这个专业。哎，那当时我很高兴，因为在全世界研究竹材的其实也不是很多。那他最对这个竹材有很很很大的偏好啊，所以我就就回他的那个 email。那后来他们就进再再进一步的一个一个联系。Woodford was um, fantastic and they really encouraged the project. I went to them and, and with the proposal they have a fantastic infrastructure for a project like that for 40 people to stay on the site and build um, over the month period. And it was very exciting getting something ready for so many people to walk through. So he knew that 120,000 people were going to see the artwork at the end um, and that was an exciting feeling as well. Today is the first day of having it on site and um, we've taken all the bamboo that we've harvested from the forest, the crystal waters, and began to split it all uh, into strips for the weaving. At the same time we've had a digger uh, come in and put in holes uh, so that we can insert the uh, pine logs that we've taken out of the forest. Okay, so the the logs are all weeds, they're, um, they're self-seeded and they are bad for the native vegetation so what we're doing is recycling them into a sculpture to keep the carbon intact. The bamboo we're harvesting is also a way of clearing the forest and keeping it growing well. 
What we're doing with the tower is that we have 24 poles each spaced a metre apart on an 8 metre diameter circle. Those poles are going in uh, as a single pole, then a double pole, then a single pole, and then a double pole. And then we're going to leave a gap of three and a half metres and start to weave above everybody's head. So they'll have these beautiful legs standing down into the ground and the weaving starts and they go up nine metres after that. 其实当初的规划是这个地方有一个高塔那这个高塔是大家在那边做表演嘛看表演的时候刚好有一个入口的一个高塔大家从这个地方穿梭过去的话我觉得应该会有比较好比较有趣的一个方式 So you get two two metre openings and a one metre opening either side Why not four two metre openings? We don't have to decide now, so I, I think the best thing is to build it I think Wen Chi quite enjoyed um, having engineers and architects around, but he totally is all over it. I don't think he needs any engineers or architects. In fact, I think he helped empower the engineers and the architects by letting them know that they could build without so many rules and regulations, that, that it was very instinctual, the way that he builds. Oh. <laughs> Go there, yeah, I want to see if I can actually. Yeah, I didn't anticipate it being such a large scale job. If you start yours from. So, that's really strong, yeah, that's easy to sound to. Oh, no, it wasn't too. So, if you start from. My bad, I got one. But obviously, once they get it to a certain point, putting a square inside. What we're creating is, say. We just need to stop work temporarily. Hopefully once the flash storm passes, we'll be able to keep working. <laughs>我们通道的是用不规则编织啦因为不规则编织的话就是它的因为像那一天那一天下大雨之前有一个很大的狂轰有没有那个风其实蛮大的像台湾那个台风那个有没有所以我在想说用不规则的编织它会比较比较坚固
He has such a big heart, such a beautiful teacher to work with. I think he inspired everybody, yeah. Push it! Lift up. <laughs> Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Because when she is such a sharing person, he made everyone feel very much part of the project. His intention was a cultural exchange and I think that's exactly what happened because um, we were all able to relate to each other and through the bamboo, um, coming from very different places, but we all had the same intention and love for the work that was happening. Bamboo forests have a fantastic energy. They they change the climate. They they're very cool in their temperature and um, it was very hot summer and then people would go into the forest and, and feel the, that beautiful atmosphere around them and um, I think the bamboo in its materiality, it carries that feeling of the forest with it, even when you take it away from the forest. In terms of architecture, it's a temporary space um, that people can go through and have a very profound experience. Um, in terms of art, when she always talks about being able to walk inside his art and inside nature, um, so it's almost like he's creating um, in his tunnels another world that you can walk through. Looks like the universe. <laughs> Impressionado. <laughs> I mean, all the average. Nice. Crazy about that. Look at that, look at that. That's sweet. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, far out. Uh, Zhan 